Hey guys, um, so you're probably wondering why I'm looking like this and I've just finished doing a makeup video um, on the sort of burlesque look and sort of like the old Hollywood style so that should be up by now um, a lot of people have been asking me about Stargazer products um, I get mine from uh, www.stargazer um, line I think that funny little dash thing and then products.com and um, I know also uh, there's a shop in Rochester called Rocket um, and they also do some of the products as well um, I use their products mainly because uh, the colour comes out pretty good and you don't need to keep scrubbing away to get a good coverage um, they're not too expensive um, the video is lagging now for some reason but anyway I'll continue they're not too expensive they're not cheap however um, you can get millions and millions of different colours glitters, mattes, shiny ones um, chrome style eyeshadow bronze effect um, one thing I will say is if you're looking for a good white powder they do do a loose powder it's not as good as the press powder I tend to use the press powder more and then keep the loose one for the highlights and stuff um, one of my favourite colours to use is the Stargazer eyeshadow in purple and that looks like this um, it's comes out really strong which is always nice um, their liners are really good like their lip liners, eyeliners they come out really cool uh, another eyeshadow they use a lot is their velvet eye collection uh, and these their average eyeshadows come in these little flip up things like this whereas the velvet eyeshadows come in this big old chunky thing like that then they open up and inside you have a mirror with the eyeshadow and then underneath you get a foam applicator um, I've only used the foam applicators a few times because I prefer to uh, put them on with a brush but do what you will uh, also I recently have just bought one of their pro paint sticks um, they look like this and they're in like a tube with pro paint stick on the side um, mine is in light flesh because I've got quite pale skin um, you kind of want to get the skin tone right and it's just like a big stick like that it can be used as a cover up for like blemishes and stuff and also a base for your makeup um, I'll tell you the prices at the end the shipping's really good as well um, but bearing in mind I live in the UK so in England so for me the, the uh, shipping wasn't too bad but I'm not sure what the shipping would be like for the rest of the world um, what else do I like from them oh yeah they're glitter shakers um, my favourite colours from their glitter shaker thingamajiggers is the UV purple their green and the white the white's really versatile so you can use that on a lot of different looks so these are my favourite three that I've got they're really pretty um, oh I've just dropped it on the floor it's not good also I bought these things recently they're nail art brush pens from Stargazer and they are really cool um, if you pull the lid off you get a sort of like a, a pen and then if you twist the lid you get a brush and ignore my dirty fingernails because I've just been doing some art but I don't know if you can see them I've got a heart on my thumb Arrgh, no, come back and a star on my finger yeah so you can get really cool drawings of those they're UV as well but I think you could get them in normal colours uh, these eyelashes are stargazer 
um, they have like sections on their website and there's like I think there's a goth girl glitter girl retro I think emo something like that so you can click on the category that you think you want to buy makeup from or uh, do what I do and I just click view all products because um, they have some really really cool stuff and I think you should all go over there really <laughs> um, I haven't got any of their lipsticks so I cannot comment on those uh, but I do own a fair amount of their stuff mainly because it comes out the colour that it is in the palette because a lot of eyeshadows I find is that I like the colour that it is on the palette and then when I put it on my eye it's um, a totally different colour but so I should say definitely use a primer or a base um, on your eye for putting on stargazer stuff because a lot of the times if it's a dark colour it will stain your eyelid <laughs> so that's not good um, you can use it as a blusher as well I've done that a few times um, on different looks is using it as a blusher or a highlighter um, I also have got their peppermint acetone free nail varnish remover which looks like this um, it's really it smells quite strong as nail varnish remover does but it does have a pepperminty sort of minty undertones to it which is quite nice but I've got a price list here of a few of my new items that I recently acquired um, just so that you can get the rough idea of price ranges my paint pro stick was four pounds um, my I bought a lip and eye pencil in red that was two pounds um, the glitter shakers are three pound. Um, the nail polish, the look, the nail polish remover was, I think it was three pound. No, two pound. Which I thought was really good. And then the UV nail art pens are three pounds each. And my shipping cost me two fifty four, which I thought was really good. Um, and also another thing. This isn't Stargazer, this is Revlon.